greatest nation the world has ever known, that you all join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Given up in the search, it is obvious that this President's economic policies have failed. Who would have thought that we would long for the good old days of Jimmy Carter. <laughs> you remember those days of the maze? Remember that? Well, they are back, and it is time for him to go. I am, uh, I am just thrilled to be here with so many of the latest Congressman Whitman, Lieutenant Governor Bowling, and so many others. And what a treat to have the next Vice President of the United States here, Paul Ryan. To show you how important he thinks Virginia is, he's only been a candidate for six days. Three of them he's been here. The reward of the politics of the past. And we won't do that. We will leave. We will take on the tough issues. We want to earn your support. We want to deserve victory. So that when we do this, next year, we will do all the things we need to do to get people back to work, to get this economy going, to get this debt on the path to being paid off. When Mitt Romney was governor of Massachusetts, he turned things around. Unemployment went down. Over the last four years, household income for families in America has gone down $4,000. Under Mitt Romney's leadership when he was governor, household income in his state went up $5,000. Remember the line, we're not red states, we're not blue states, but we're the United States of America. I want to be a uniter, not a divider. I tell you, I've served with three presidents since I've been in Congress. This is the most partisan atmosphere I have ever seen. This is not uniting, this is dividing. When Mitt Romney was governor, he was governor, a conservative Republican governor of a Democratic state with 87% of his legislature were Democrats. He didn't demonize them. He didn't attack them. He reached across the aisle, he got things done, and he balanced the budget without raising taxes. Which path do you want? Do you want the Opportunity Society with the safety net, the land of the free of opportunity and upper mobility? Or do you want more of the same? A debt crisis? A welfare state, a nation of debt, and down in the state. <laughs> really clear. This is, the, this is our commitment. We will not duck the tough issues, we will lead. <laughs> and we will not blame others, we will take responsibility. transform or replace our founding principles, we will reapply our founding principles. This is our generation's defining moment. This is the most important election in your lifetime, no matter what generation you come from. We can do this. We can turn this around. We can get this right. We can get our economy growing. We can get people back to work. We can look back at this moment as the moment we secure the future for our children and our grandchildren. And together, 